Elaine with Crafty Life Mom, and I am back crafting live with you tonight. I have not been live in a couple of weeks, maybe three even. I can't even remember the last time I went live. And I know, it's like we had Halloween, and then it was like November 1st, and I started to think about some Thanksgiving crafts, but I'm one of the guilty people who actually started decorating for Christmas and have decked the halls around here. I have shops for Christmas decor. I have done all those things and I just couldn't help it. I have a Christmas craft to share with you. I have a lot of Christmas crafts that I wanna share with you guys. So I'm kind of starting the Christmas crafting um, with a craft that I have tonight for you. So I'm back, it's been a few weeks and I'm glad you guys are coming in to see what I'm making tonight. So if you looked and read the description, I said that I was making Christmas tree cones. And I'll have a little bit of story. This is nothing really new, um, but I've seen them everywhere, right? We've seen them year to year. Um, people decorate the cones to look like trees in all different kinds of ways. And I have a couple of um, ways that I'm gonna show you tonight. I'm gonna make one with you, um, inspired from one that I actually saw in a Christmas decor section in a um, craft store at Michael's. So um, the cone cost, I don't think, it was like $24. It was on sale, so it was like around $12 or $14. But even then, I thought it was kind of high for a cone. And if you didn't know, you can get these. I think you can even pick these cones up at the Dollar Tree. They come in a variety of sizes. I even have a big one here. And the larger ones do cost a few more dollars, but it's better to spend like maybe $5 on a cone than it is 15, right? So I'm gonna show you a couple different ways to um, make the Christmas tree cones. And one of the things that I'm going to be using today is um, yarn. And I have a couple different themes going on in my Christmas decor in my house this year. So I have like a dark green and tree theme kind of in the front of my house. It's a little more of the formal section. And then I kind of have like the reds and the bright all colors going on, like red and white and all like nostalgia Christmas colors, like the different colors of the Christmas lights going on in our family room. So I am going to be making trees for both of those themes and I'm gonna show you, I've already made one and I will show you that um, when we get done with the first one and then give you another idea for a third tree. So to get started, and you guys, I figured it up. It's only a few dollars like to make one. So for 15 or 20, you could have like a little tree farm if you wanted to. And that's actually a vignette that I'm creating with my cones on a coffee table that I have in my front room. I'm going to actually um, be putting a variety of different trees, some that I made and some that I bought on the coffee table, just kind of like lined up there, all different heights and sizes and colors. Um, and it's, it's really gonna be cute, and I will put a picture of that once we get done tonight. So, the first thing is, is I bought a pack of these, um, I think it was like five or six, it was like two bucks for these wooden dowels. You can buy them at the Dollar Tree, they're a dollar. Um, these are a little bit thicker, and they're a little bit longer. Now, you can certainly cut them down to different um, lengths, but you don't really have to, since this is styrofoam, how far you push it into the cone is what's going to make a different height anyway. So I'm just gonna stick with the about a foot long um, width here. And then I do already have my different size cones. So they're gonna vary anyway. And then I went out in the garage and I found some scrap wood pieces. Now these are the stands. I had, the one I did earlier was actually a smaller piece of scrap wood I found like lying on the floor of the garage. And it was only about, you know, a one inch by one inch. This is more like two by two inch. And that's kind of like what you need as a little block. See that? And this is gonna create a nice sturdy stand. And so I do have some power tools. I'm not afraid to use it. Um, I'm going to drill on top of this other piece. That's a scrap piece to make the hole. And I already have like, wood chips all over me from drilling the other ones. But I just wanted to show you, I'm just using, I don't even know what size this is, 
but it's like the same size as my dowel okay and that's basically like I went through the tools outside and I matched it up to like okay that looks like it'll fit that that's what I did I know that's not accurate on what to do but that's exactly what I did so I'm just eyeballing the center I want to make sure I'm going the right way literally just drilling all the way through you can see it's starting to go through right there so I need to go just a little bit more and then I'm gonna reverse it out okay and then I have all of this like bits here of wood pieces and that's totally fine I'm just gonna shake that out in the trash and clean that off because it is a little whatever but I wanted to show you guys that because if you're watching and you haven't really used a drill or any like tools like that you totally can it's really not that difficult okay so my hole is all the way through um and all i'm gonna do is just take the dowel and it fits in there really nice and i'm gonna push it all the way down till it's flush with the bottom you see that and so these are going to be the stands for our trees and we're gonna add weight to our cones so we want this size or about this size you can even do like the round wood um like the bark looking wood like some people make coasters out of those you can even use that and have like more of a rustic look for your tree so i'm just using this because this is the scrap wood that i had inside of my garage like on the floor from another project which i'm going to share with you guys um, so let's see. I'm going to see who's here tonight. Say hello to some people because it's kind of far. Can't really read. I'm probably getting where I need some glasses. Let's see. Hello, Lisa. Hi, Terry. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Deb. Hi, Beth. Katrina. Hi, guys. How are you doing tonight? Tell me, what have you guys been up to? Are you decorating for Christmas yet? Or are you holding out until after Thanksgiving? No judgment if you wait. No judgment if you go early. It's totally fine with me. Um, <laughs> I do not skip Thanksgiving. I am one of those people who do believe thanks and giving. I have this on a t-shirt, so I thought it was cute. I'd use it. Thanks and giving should be more than just a season, right? So I try to be thankful and giving year-round. But yes, we do celebrate Thanksgiving. But the inside of my house is a little Christmas cheer happening as we go right and i think i add more and more as the days go all right so let's get to the trees i'm going to use one of these small cones first right here and again i'm just going to eyeball about the center of this okay and i'm just going to use the dowel to poke down in there and i'm just going to kind of go slow i don't want to poke out the side or anything like that okay and you just get it on there to about the height you want. And you can see mine's kind of leaning, so you can kind of try to fix that by kind of scraping a little bit, push it down. And like I said, you can go as low or high as you want. You can even cut your dowels. But I kind of like this tall, skinny shape. I think it kind of gives it a nice whimsical look. Um, it's totally up to you, though, how far you want to go. And then what I like to do is um whoop. I did not turn on my glue so it's got to heat up there um what I like to do is stick a little bit of hot glue down into the um cone there before I put the dowel down inside and while that's heating up I'm going to go ahead and grab let me see let me go this way I'm going to grab some extra glue but I want you guys to put down in the comments tell me what are you guys doing? Are you decorating now or are you waiting? And I'm sorry I'm moving the camera on you. Let me get it back straight there. So sorry. All right. So tell me, what are you guys doing? Are you decorating yet or are you waiting? Post it in the comments. We'll be having to do some giveaways. So I always like to look. And please, if you're new here, would you mind sprinkling the video? I totally appreciate that. I know some of you are new from possibly the holiday maker fest that we just had last week that was a blast so if you're new from there say hi and tell me that you found me through the maker fest because it's always nice to see um if you were a part of that or well that was new for this year but it's always nice to see where you guys come from so let's see um 
All right, so it looks like we have some more people joining. Hi, everybody. Hi, Beth. Hi, Debbie. Um, and we're just saying, waiting, but it's killing me. Oh, it's killing me, too. I started. I started decorating. I've put up a tree or two, maybe three. Well, my kids have asked for trees um, in their bedroom, so some of those trees we've done, and they've had fun with it. But they're not like perfect, you know, like they've put ornaments on there. There's handmade ones from the past. Like they're all just, you know, doing what they want, what they feel. All right. So that battery on that glue gun is dead. So I'm going to have to put this one in. That's the only thing about Ryobi. If I forget to charge my batteries, I'm on the live and I don't have it charged. And I apologize. I'm so sorry about that. I'll grab another one so that we can get going with these trees and I'm going to show you guys exactly how I wrap these and the sample that I am making today is inspired by um, a Michael's Christmas decor and if you're just joining I saw this at the store like three or four days ago and it was a $15 tree and I was like I even had like three in my cart I was like yeah I'm gonna get those they're so cute and I was like Maybe not because I can technically do that a little bit cheaper, right? All right, so let's get this going. What we're gonna do is I'm going to make a red tree. I know green is normal, but you know what? We're gonna be a little whimsical. We're gonna be a little bit of fun. I found this yarn also at Michael's and it was 50% um, off. The, um, the whole thing of yarn was about $5. And so half off it was $2.50. So, and I'm not gonna use this whole thing, obviously. So you could get a couple different trees with one color of yarn. Like I said, each little tree was maybe $5 or a little less than $5, not a whole lot. So I just want you to know, you could have like a little tree farm going on for, you know, less than the cost of one tree. All right, let's see if I have one of these warmed up yet. I'm so sorry how I did that. I should always plug these in before I go. But let's see, anybody else waiting to decorate or have you started decorating for Christmas yet? Tell me. Let's see, hi Sally, hi Rhonda, hi, let's see, can't read, hi Lynn, hi Bobby, how are you? Let's see, I'm trying to look and see who else is there with me. Jessica, hello, hello Heather, hello Cheryl. Hi guys, welcome. All right, so like I said, I'm gonna shoot some hot glue down in the hole. I know you guys are just joining me. What I'm doing is we drilled the hole into the wood. Okay, I put my dowel right through the hole. I know some of you just joined, so I'm just resharing. And then I push this down just flush with it right to the bottom. You don't want to do it too far because you don't want it to have a wobble. You want it to stand kind of nice. So you can kind of just check it with your finger there. And then you're going to take your glue gun. Well, what I did was I pre did the hole, pushed it down into the dowel and just tried to get it on straight as I can. Mine was a little leaning. So I'm trying to make sure it's standing pretty straight. Okay. And then we take it off. We're going to add a little bit of glue down in there just to kind of secure it once I stick it down in there because obviously when I push this down it's going to push the glue all right so there we are we're going to start it like that now to work on my cone I'm going to go ahead and take off my base because it just kind of makes like a great handle and I want to do the bottom of my cone and work my way up all right so I'm just going to start with some glue there and I'm just going to take my thread or my thread, I'm sorry, my yarn. And I'm just gonna kind of wrap it there around. And you guys can kind of see, I just kind of have it looped. Nothing fancy there. I'm gonna put these on so I don't burn my fingers. And I'm just gonna kind of run the glue here. And you guys, on this, you don't have to do like the glue all along, but I recommend doing it for sure on the bottom. Let's see if this one's warmed up. Oh yeah, the Ryobi heats up really good. So it's really hot. All right, so you don't have to do it once you get to the cone part, but I definitely recommend it for the bottom almost the entire way, if that makes any kind of sense, because you don't want any of this to bump up, okay? You want this to lay real nice 
as you're putting these like somewhere, you know, like you're gonna be able to see the bottom, obviously, because it's on the, the pole here or on the dowel, so you don't want it to, um, you know, fall off. You want it to be pretty secure. And the tree that I am making tonight, it's like a dupe, okay, or it's inspired by um, something I saw at Michael's, but I just knew I could make it for less than just buy it outright from their decor section. So I actually had two of these trees in my cart and I was bebopping around, just going around the store, looking at all the pretty things. And then it hit me that I was in the floral section and I was like, oh my goodness, there's floral cones. Why didn't I think of that? I can totally make it for a lot less and I could probably make more than I was going to buy. So I loaded that stuff into my cart went around and got everything I needed, and now I'm making them and showing you tonight. I was so excited about it, actually. I already pre-made one, and I will show you here in just a minute. But anyway, so I'm just going around with my glue, okay? Making my trees, and you can kind of see how it's just spiraling around, like that, all right? So while I do that, you guys tell me. You guys said you were decorating. Anybody else have like all of their Christmas done? Does everybody have it done or you're just now getting warmed up to doing it? What's going on? Are you already decorated or you're gonna wait? I don't think there's anything wrong with going early. Um, if you want to do that, you do it, you know? Do what makes you happy. I've read, you know, over different years that when people decorate for Christmas, it just brings them joy and happiness, so why? not like do all the things why not have all the joy all right let's see what's going on all right let's see okay so my husband he watches too with you guys and he's coming here to say hey guys make sure i say hello to nova scotia australia chicago and indiana you guys are in the house tonight watching thanks for joining so excited if I didn't say where you were from, tell me and I will try to mention it. Um, sometimes it's hard to see as people join how fast to read the comments. And then my eyes are so bad. <laughs> I can't see. I'm getting old, guys. I just had a birthday. So I'm not feeling any young right now. And I know if I told you my age, you would think I'm probably young. But I'm feeling the age. So I'm just going to leave it at that. <laughs> um, but, yes, I... I cannot read, it's so tiny. I need to pull out the iPad because that's actually a little bit easier to read from. All right, so I'm just pulling off some of this. I've done the whole base. I know I'm going slow on this, but I don't want this to be messed up. And then I'm just gonna go right here along the rim. And once I get to this rim, it's gonna go fast. You're gonna see. Because I feel like at this point, you can just start wrapping and then glue every little bit so often. You don't really need to go every little piece of the string. You can just kind of wrap and glue, and wrap and glue. But I really feel like you need to have that foundation on the base there just to kind of start and kick that off before you start wrapping. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wrap around like maybe one or two times here. And you can kind of see like I left a little let me see, let me get it close. You see how I have like a little line gap there? That's totally fine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little glue. And at this point, how I saw them in the store, they are actually like, some of the string is not perfectly lined up. It kind of like gaps over on each other. So that's exactly what I'm doing here. And I have like a little spot here where I missed a good run of the styrofoam. So I'm just gonna put a little glue and I'm gonna bring my string up there, get into that section, and then wrap some more. If I see any others like that, I'm just gonna definitely cover that with some yarn. And in this scenario, I'm gonna to have to wrap around before I get to that piece, but that's okay. And I'm just gonna keep on wrapping like that, okay? And every so often, put a little bit of glue. You don't want it to be too much glue because you don't want the glue to like absorb into the yarn where it changes the color, which I have a little piece right there that that happened, it, especially on the red yarn, it will make it look a little darker in color. We wanna keep that bright red color the whole time. So that's my 
you know, whole theory on not gluing every piece as we go around on this, okay? And just pull the yarn. And also, one thing I noticed, because I did this with a different kind of yarn, you actually want to, don't pull it tight. Like, let it be loose in its fluffiest self, kind of laying and wrapping around the cone, right? You kind of like want that fluffier look. So have a looser hand as you wrap. Okay, does it make sense? And I, I hope I'm making sense. You guys tell me if that's making sense. Let's see, hi, let's see, hello. Is that Naomi, Patsy, hi Sharon, hi Nancy. How are you guys doing tonight? We're making some tree cones. Now once I get pretty good of a third of the way up, it's a lot easier to just kind of start wrapping it like this. You guys see how I kind of changed my hand there? How well, my, my string is a little stringy. I've got some more here. All right, let's see, we have some more. Oh, Texas, Montana. Wow, you guys are from everywhere. Montana, Kansas City, Minnesota. Hello, Rhode Island. I've never been there, I've always wanted to go. Louisiana, Miami, welcome. I love my Florida people. Montreal, Georgia, and Tennessee. Tennessee, is, is that nice right now? Do you guys have some good weather? Oh my gosh, Pigeon Forge is where he said you guys were from. That's awesome. Welcome, thanks for joining me. You guys like are from some great places. I'm really loving that. Kind of like want to go somewhere where it's cooler. We're here in Florida and as cool as we got today was some rain from a tropical storm. It's not really feeling Christmassy, it's just feeling rainy, but that's life in Florida. All right. So here I go, I'm wrapping some more. We can get, we're getting to the middle here. Let me keep this train going and get this cone wrapped. I'm gonna put a little bit more yarn down and around as I go. Let me add some glue just to secure it. Like this, we're gonna keep going. La -da -da -da. I feel like I need some music. Oh, I need to pull this. Look at all this yarn I still have left on this, uh, I think you call it a skein. I don't really knit. I've tried knitting, but I'm not, I'm not, it's not for me. I love to see some cool knitted things though. If you guys are knitters, like I really appreciate that craft or that work because it, it's, it's, I don't know, it's, it's difficult for me. So I think it's pretty awesome, but I am not a big knitter, but I like projects that involve yarn. All right, so here we go. We're wrapping to the end. And then I'm going to show you something super cute that we're going to do to this tree because it doesn't end with this. All right, I'm just going to pop some glue, make sure I cover that glue. Don't burn my hand in the process. As we get to the top again, I'm going to start adding just a little bit more glue um, as we go because I don't want it to unravel on me, right? I don't want it. That's another spot where we wanna kinda of end with a good point or a good ending, right? At the tree, it's at the very top. Now, I'm not gonna be adding anything to the top of the tree, but you certainly could. You could get some little wood stars. You could get, um, gosh, you could get anything. You could get some felt ones. You could get whatever. Okay, so now, I'm at the top of the cone, okay? I've put some glue there. Look, there's steam from it, it's so hot. And now I'm going to work my way up there and I'm just going to make sure it spirals correctly, like right on it. I'm not going to do the crazy wrapping that I've been doing. I want to make sure that it ends in a nice little spiral right there up at the top. All right. And I will show you once I get it laid down. Hopefully I don't burn myself while I wrap like this. Okay. And... Once I get it there, I'm gonna let that dry for a second. Just let it be cool, All right? Tell it to be cool. And I will just step on the cord. Let me grab my scissors. And we're just gonna trim it right where the uh, yarn ends. And I'm gonna press that down into that little glue spot right there. Now, you gotta be careful that you don't pull up the glue like I just did. All right, it'll get in there, laid down. Okay, so while that cools just for a little bit, 
I'm gonna go in like, there's a couple of glue strings, you guys, that kind of popped out around here. Careful that you don't pull your yarn out, I almost did there. Okay, and so I'm just gonna go and pull those and kind of just tuck the little bit of the yarn. So there's my red tree. This looks very close to what I saw at the store. Now, I went over to where they have these pom-poms. Createology, you guys know that. These are from Michaels as well. And this is a bag. These are the um, 19 millimeter size. So they're like a half an inch size. There's 80 in this bag, okay? They are very, I mean, they're not like, they're like the medium size. Like I've seen the tiny ones. I've seen the large ones, but you can see here, like they're not that huge. Now I'm going to pop these on the tree and I'm actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go stick it back into the stand, push it down. So it's flat in there. Look how cute that is on its own. Let me get my string. What do you guys think? Is that cute? Do you guys like this? Or you're like, nah, or maybe would you pick a different color? Let me know in the comments. Would you pick a different color yarn? Or would you pick the red? I'm thinking the red, but I know where I'm gonna put this in my home and it's where we have a lot of bright different colors. We're actually using some pom-poms. Um, different bright colored pom-poms everywhere with our stockings. There's pom-poms on our stockings. So we have like a fun little Christmassy theme kind of going on in our family room section with pom-poms and like all the bright color red happening. So now what I'm doing is I'm just putting these pom-poms on and I'm kind of going like down and around in an angle like this. You see that? But it's not going to end there. Let me get out some more here. Just a little dot of glue. Okay, so that's what I'm doing. I kind of created a, like a garland or like a wrap, but it's mainly just to keep a pattern because I don't really want them to be, I want them to kind of look balanced on the tree, like there's enough, and you know, like how you decorate a tree, you want to be symmetrical, but you still want to give it some interest, like you don't have exactly all the same ornaments you know but they kind of are placed symmetrically on the tree if you have something kind of heavy to the left you might have something kind of heavy down at the bottom you guys know what i'm talking about right or am i just talking crazy yeah i don't know all right let's see here's what i've got now if you've been to michael's lately i want to know in the comments have you guys seen this tree they have two sizes. I kid you not, the smaller or the medium one was $15 on sale, okay? And I just recreated it for like 15, or for five bucks. Not even, probably like three and a half. Um, depending on what you spend on your cone is where your price is probably gonna go up. So, let me show you the finished thing here. Let me get one more, I think, on here. What do you guys think? Are you liking this? Is this cute? How cute would this be? Like you could make one of these, take it to the office. Um, if you're a teacher, you could have a few of these around class. You could make them. They could be great little, you know, fun little things for kids to do with you as well. But look how cute my little pom-pom red tree is. What do you guys think? Yeah? Hi, welcome if it's your first time. So this is um this tree, right? I have a bigger version I'm going to make with it, so it's gonna be like, you know, maybe this tall. Um, let's see, I have another one here, so I would probably like put it down like that, and I'm gonna have like a stagger going on. But let me show you another one I made. Like I said, in my room, in my front room, I've started decorating with like the dark greens. I have like different variant, Various trees, like I have, like the trees, that I saw them at Target, they're like five bucks in the bullseye spot, you know, and they kind of look like the Charlie Brown tree, so I have a few of those, mixed with a few cones like this, but in this like gorgeous hunter green, emerald green, I guess, color, and I'm just digging this. This, now this yarn, this is the yarn I used right here to make this tree. Look how gorgeous this is. And what I did with this cone, whoop, and this is, let me tell you, because I, I sampled this first. I, I used a smaller little base and I put a little felt piece on it and that was a mistake because it kind of, 
wants to fall over. So I'm gonna have to redo my base on this one or it definitely like needs a friend next to it to kind of like keep from the lean, you know, leaning over like the leaning tower here. It's like, it wants to kind of lean. But look how cute these little yarn trees are. And you can do them in a variety of ways. So the last way I wanna show you is I purchased this bright colorful, like I said, we have these colors going on in our family room with our Christmas decor. So we have a lot of the red and white mix with like, you know, not the rainbow colors, but these like nostalgia type colors like you see on the Christmas lights. And I'm gonna wrap one of these smaller cones, which I'm gonna start it and just kind of show you what I mean. Um, and I just got this idea while rummaging through the store, picking up the supplies to kind of recreate the polka dot one. And then I saw the green yarn and I fell in love with it. I mean, this is so soft. Now this was a $9 um, thing of yarn, but half off it was five bucks, but look how much it was. And this is super soft very fluffy this color is gorgeous they had tons of other colors which i was absolutely in love with now this yarn this yarn is like you can barely see it on the camera there it's super super skinny but i want to kind of show you really quickly i'm not going to do it all the way you know i'm not going to glue it because i want you to see what i'm talking about here what I plan to do, anyway, let me get it off my watch. That would be helpful. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're, I'm gonna wrap this just so you can see here, okay? And I'll probably wrap like the whole tree. You guys see that? And then it's starting to get to the color where it changes color, this yarn. So if I could find this in a thicker yarn, like this vibrant color changing yarn, how it changes, you know, like the ombre colors or shades, I totally would like I would love it in that fluffy color but look at this tree I saw some ombre like bottle brush trees at Target look how gorgeous this is gonna be okay but oh, that one is not gonna last but this is not where it's gonna end okay let me show you I found this is Createology 32 pieces in here these teeny tiny Christmas bells now, I might need some help with my eyeballs on this one, but um, my thought is just to kind of show you how cool this would be. I may have to get this cut pretty precise here. I might have to lick <laughs> Sorry, guys. I don't know what I'm looking at. But these little bells are so cute. I'm going to have to get like an embroidery thread to get it through there. But every so often, how cute would that be? with a little bell on this all down the tree, kind of like how the pom-poms are, right? Like a little bell, you see that? And then it's gonna jingle. What do you guys think about that? I think that's super cute. It's fun. My daughter's gonna love it in her room. And you know, it's got the like nostalgia colors in it, which is kind of popular this year. Have you guys seen the nostalgia, like the ceramic trees that have all the lights? I've seen them in green, I've seen them in white. Um, I've seen them in green with like white snow on them. You can paint them at painting places, all of that. Um, and these trees are gonna go so great with like a tree like that or just like a variety of trees like on your mantle or on like a coffee table, a console table, the table near your front door, anywhere. Like you could do a whole little vignette of these styrofoam trees and maybe spend, you know, 20 bucks or less, which would be so cute, adorable and different because we don't have to have the same decor so yeah these are my little trees let me show you this one's gonna be cute and here's my green and my red so how fun is that what do you guys think you like it I'm loving it I'm gonna make some more and when I get done I will post this with you guys I will show you how I place them I actually have two places that I'm putting cone styrofoam trees um, in my home to kind of add to my decor and update it a little bit from past years. So that's the craft that I have for you guys tonight. I love that so many of you tuned in. I appreciate you coming, saying hello, telling me where you're from, especially since I haven't been live in a while. And so it has been fun. I appreciate it. I will see you guys next time. I'm hoping to be back Wednesday night. So look for me then. I have lots of Christmas crafts to share with you, um, okay? And I will see you then.